One of the relatives of the Deinonychus raptor was a creature called Microraptor, and uh, fossils of this have been found in China and have been dated to about 120 million years ago. The Microraptor uh, was a four-winged bird-like dinosaur. It was about the size of a raven, maybe slightly bigger, and weighed about a kilogram or 2.2 pounds in weight, so it wasn't very large. It had feathers on all four of its limbs, on both the front and back limbs, and probably was able to take off from the ground, ground and fly, um, but it had teeth and was most likely carnivorous. This um, ancestor or relative of the Deinonychus raptor um, was quite significant in that its, um, its fossils have been found that have imprints of feathers and wings as such, and that it was capable of flight. Uh, back in about uh, 1861, the Archaeopteryx uh, fossil had been found in Germany, and uh, this was about two years after Darwin came up with his theory of evolution, and they sort of showed that the Archaeopteryx was a bird-like dinosaur that had feathers. Uh, a few years after the Archaeopteryx had been found, a man called Thomas Henry Huxley uh, proposed that birds had evolved from two-legged dinosaurs called theropods. So way back in 1868 there was a theory that uh, dinosaurs had led to the evolution of birds and the Microraptor, although not, probably not directly related to the Archaeopteryx, um, was also another dinosaur that had feathers and that could fly. In fact it may have been able to fly better than the Archaeopteryx could. So the ancestors of creatures like Velociraptor and Deinonychus, which was a larger type of raptor, could well have been smaller dinosaurs that were capable of flying. So there are fossils that have been coming out of China that um, have feathers on them and show that these dinosaurs that had teeth also had feathers and um, could probably fly.